Hey friends, we are the Study Buddies. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video of Biology Edition, we will be learning about the topic Introduction to Organic Molecules and Carbohydrates. So, what is an organic compound? Organic compound or molecules are molecules that have both carbon and hydrogen atoms in them. Basically, we have four classes of organic molecules, which are carbohydrates, lipid, or commonly known as fat, protein, and nucleic acid. All four of them are known as biomolecules that make up living things and molecules. Despite their functional differences, organic molecules is based on unique chemical properties of carbon atom. But why specifically carbon? What is so special about it? Well, some of the properties of carbon are, it has total of 6 electrons, 2 in the first shell and 4 in the valence or outer shell. To acquire 4 more electrons to achieve stability, it almost always forms covalent bond with elements such as carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur and phosphorus. The ability of carbon atom to share electrons with another carbon atom plays an important part. Carbon-carbon single bond is very stable and allows formation of long chains or carbon chains. Double bonds are less flexible, therefore influences the function of molecules in certain ways. And carbon can also form triple bonds. The diversity of these molecules comes from a term called functional group. Functional group is a combination of a few atoms attached to the carbon chain altering the polarity and types of reaction it undergoes. For example, as you can see in the table on the left, we have the hydroxyl group, methyl group, carbonyl and carboxyl group and many other groups as well. There is a change in its properties as the functional group changes. The R in the formula indicates the remainder of the molecule and this is the place where the functional group attached to. Next stop, when it comes to biomolecules of cells, there are a few terms that you need to be familiar with. Firstly, monomers. Monomers are a single subunit of molecule. Next, polymers. Polymers are a chain of monomers linked together forming a long chain of molecule. Imagine that monomers are small blocks of Legos. By joining each one of them together, we are forming a long chain of polymers. For carbohydrates, the monomers are monosaccharides and polymers are polysaccharides. As for lipids, they do not form polymers because they have two different types of monomers which are fatty acids and glycerol. The monomer for proteins are amino acid while polymers are polypeptide. Lastly, for nucleic acid, the monomers are called nucleotides and polymers are called ribonucleic acid RNA or deoxyribonucleic acid DNA. Next, we are going to learn about the synthesis and degradation of biomolecules. To synthesize or build larger structure, condensation or dehydration reaction is carried out where larger molecules are formed from smaller subunits. Water is removed in this process. Let's take the synthesis of maltose molecule as an example. To synthesize one molecule of maltose, two smaller glucose molecules are used. As you can see in the circled area, the hydrogen from one glucose molecule and hydroxyl from another glucose molecule is removed from a water molecule in the end of the process. To break down the biomolecules, hydrolysis reaction is carried out where smaller subunits are formed from larger molecules. Water is added to the reaction. The exact same process from just now is reversed to form two glucose molecules from one maltose molecule where water is added to the process. Now, let's talk about our first biomolecule, carbohydrates. The universal functions of carbohydrates are it is used as an immediate source of energy and have structural functions. 
the elements in a single carbohydrate molecule are made up in a ratio of 1 carbon, 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. The monomers for carbohydrates are called monosaccharides. Disaccharides are a combination of two monosaccharides. The polymers are called polysaccharides. Let's look at monosaccharides. They are only single sugar molecule or simple sugars. Monosaccharides are soluble in water due to the presence of polar hydroxyl group. Some of the examples are glucose, galactose, fructose, deoxyribose and ribose. On the other hand, disaccharides contain two monosaccharides joined together through dehydration reaction. For example, sucrose or commonly known as table sugar is a combination of monomers fructose and glucose. Lactose or known as milk sugar is a combination of monomers galactose and glucose. And lastly, maltose sugar which is a combination of two glucose molecules. Polysaccharides, as mentioned earlier, are long polymers of monosaccharides linked by glycosidic bonds. The two main functions of it are energy storage function and structural function. Starch and glycogen are polysaccharides that function as energy storage. Starch is the storage of glucose in plants and exists in two forms, amylose and amylopectin. Glycogen is the storage of glucose in animals. It is stored in the liver and its release is controlled by hormones such as insulin and glucagon. These two polysaccharides are able to do their function because they are insoluble in water, larger than simple sugar and cannot easily pass through plasma membrane. Next, cellulose, peptidoglycan and chitin have structural functions as polysaccharides. The monomer for cellulose is glucose. Some animals and humans can't digest cellulose, but some can with the help of microorganisms in their guts, such as herbivore animals. As for peptidoglycan, its monomer contains amino acid chains in it. It is found on the protective layer of bacterial body. Last but not least, Chitin is made up of monomers attached to amino acid groups. It is commonly found on fungal cell walls and exoskeletons of crustaceans. Chitin also has antibacterial and antiviral properties. And that's the end of the video for this lesson everyone. If you have any more questions, do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this content and want more, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be reminded on our new videos in future. Thank you and bye friends!